slow paddling stroke and keeps low to the ground for stability. But by the age of three weeks, the kitten is up on its feet and walking, albeit a little shakily. But it is not yet able to walk up on its toes like an adult cat. This posture will take a while to perfect. But confidence is growing, and the kittens show the beginnings of an urge to explore and play. A week later, and the play is getting better. The eyes have cleared, improving vision, and the kittens are beginning to use their tails to balance. At five weeks old, the kitten is beginning to control most of the things that make a cat a cat. It can walk a little like a cat. Its directional hearing is starting to work, and its vision is getting better all the time. At six weeks, just walking isn't enough. Playing and grooming are developing. Eight weeks of age. In only two months, this kitten has become a young but complete cat. Everything from here is just a bit of growth and a bit of practice. The pattern of development is about the same for all species of cat. House kittens, though, have one other important lesson to learn. How to get along with humans. These people in Bristol, England, are volunteer kitten cuddlers coming to a home for stray cats and kittens. Oh, that's a good girl. Okay, sweetie. Oh, are you then? Oh, look at you. What beautiful, beautiful little kittens you are. Contrary to what people tend to think, kittens aren't actually born with the ability to interact with us. They have to learn it. They'll start learning it from the time that their eyes open and we'll probably stop learning at about seven to eight weeks of age. A cat that gets lots of attention, lots of handling at that time will tend to grow up to be a person cat, a cat that likes to jump onto people's laps and to, to be stroked. A cat that gets a small amount of handling will tend to be the more aloof type, the one that will tolerate human presence but won't necessarily seek it out. If they don't encounter people during that critical period, then they're very unlikely to be friendly to people. They'll tend to go wild. Uncuddled stray kittens will never know this kind of life. Cuddler, Don England. We like to get them in a home environment as much as possible with curtains and carpets and chairs so that when they go into a new home they're not phased by it and they know what to expect. And hopefully we're homing perfect user-friendly little kittens. And of course we get people coming back to us and telling us how nice the cats are and how well house trained they are. And that's what we aim for. House cats are technically still the same species as wild cats. The two main things that make the house cat different are its social skills, with both people and other cats, and its color. House cats don't need camouflage. Freed from that requirement, the ancestral coat of the tabby-colored wild cat has given way to almost every pattern and hue any animal can conceivably have. Black, though, was the first new color to appear. Around two and a half thousand years ago, the Phoenicians were able to smuggle cats out of Egypt to use as mousers on their ships. And many of those cats were black. As they traded around the Mediterranean, 
the Phoenicians set up colonies in many places, such as Carthage and Cadiz, now Cadiz in Spain. And of course, the black cats traveled with them. In time, cats were in residence all around the Mediterranean. The black cats that roam Venice today probably have ancestors from Phoenician ships. A thousand years or so after the Phoenicians, the Vikings were the great sea power. They had ship's cats too, but they favored red tabbies, marmalades. It's a coloration that seems to have arisen in ancient Turkey, and the far-traveling Vikings carried red tabby cats from there to places up and down the rivers of Europe, and even to their Scandinavian homelands. The ship is the way that cats of all colors made their way around the world. Every place on the planet that's inhabited by humans is also inhabited by cats. And wherever cats landed, their lives became entwined with ours. This is Miami, Florida, home of one of America's classiest cat shows. These aren't average, randomly bred house cats. These are pedigrees, expensive contestants brought here to win their owners' prestige and prizes. Nowhere is the human-cat relationship quite so intense. I'm getting here is a little kitty makeup to even out the color. These cats are being groomed for stardom. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a beautiful boy. <laughs> You're so unhappy. <laughs> Cat shows have been happening for just over a hundred years, and lots of the modern breeds of cats are a direct result of them. Many cat breeds are variations on types that developed naturally and locally. A chartreuse, linked with the Crusaders and French Carthusian monks 